Guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Lucas Monster, and today we have so much Star Wars Black Series news to go over, including brand new Black Series figures showing up in store, a first look at some figures out of the box that haven't yet released, and so much more. This one is going to be a long one, so buckle up and let's get into it. Real quick though, before you get into the video, we're actually giving away this Black Series Arc Trooper 5s. It is looking incredible, sealed, pristine, and ready to ship once we hit 13,000 subscribers. Now you do have to be subbed to enter into the giveaway, so make sure you go down and hit the like button, subscribe so you don't miss out, and once we hit 13,000 subs, I will give away this Arc Trooper 5s. Anyway, on to the video. First up, this is a post from Yakface, but the brand new Minds of Mandalore uh, A-list figure is now starting to show up in Target stores. Uh, this was actually sent to Yakface by uh, GoFigure707, so uh, shout out to you for pointing this out, and shout out to Yakface for posting this. Go check out Yakface, link in the description. But uh, if you are interested in the Minds of Mandalore Mando, go check your Target stores because they may have it in stock. Uh, this one I think is going to be decently popular just because the Glavis Ringworld version is very hard to find right now. And so if you are interested, uh, this is one of the best versions of Mando we've ever gotten. So if you cannot find the Glavis Ringworld version, this one is an easy pickup and uh, it definitely will get the job done. You'll just have that hard uh, plastic cape instead, which is a little unfortunate, but it gets the job done. Next up from Yakface, it looks like that the brand new Super Battle Droid and C-3PO 2 pack is actually going to be released sooner than expected. The release date on Hasbro Pulse has officially changed to April 2nd, which is pretty much a week away at this point, which is incredible. And so make sure to go check out your pre-orders and uh, see if it was changed or not, but this one should be coming out a little bit sooner than expected, about a month sooner, which is incredible. Cannot wait to get my hands on this one. But the better news is we actually have some in-hand photos of these guys. All of these photos were found on the Out of the Basement Discord, so make sure to go check out them. They will be linked in the description. Check them out on YouTube as well. Uh, they are awesome, part of the Black Series community. The first photos here are from a specific Reddit user I will throw on screen. Uh, they are looking really, really dang good. The lighting is a little poor in these photos, so I do apologize, but uh, really loving how the Super Battle Droid looks. The next photos are actually from Crimson Banana, also part of the Out of the Basement Discord. And as you can see here, uh, loving these two together, I really dig that C-3PO as well. Uh, I think the green on the head is a little distracting, I'm not sure about that. But one thing that really stood out to me that I didn't notice on the promo shots of the Super Battle Droid is the like blue metallic color on the head of the Super Battle Droid. And it really pops out here. It's uh, pretty distracting to be honest. Um, but overall, I think it looks pretty good, and I cannot wait to see what the single release looks like with no weathering or battle damage. It should be a plain, clean look, and I want to know if that one looks better. So as soon as that one's revealed, obviously I'll cover it here on the channel. But uh, we do have a photo of the back of this guy from Crimson Banana, and you do get a closer shot at some of the exclusive weathering, specifically this uh, blaster mark on the back. Uh, is there basically to show that it is the battle droid that got shot and fell on top of C-3PO. So this is a scene-specific battle droid to the Geonosian Arena, which I thought was pretty cool. But uh, from the back here, we also do see the, uh, like, photoreal weathering that the sand is used with, and it just doesn't look super good. It looks really polka dotty and grainy, which I understand sand is, but this looks more mechanic than it does like sand so i have mixed emotions about it but i'm i'm waiting to see once i get it in hand to really fully judge it but the real big bombshell drop that came out of this is that the head of the super battle droid actually comes off just like in republic commando this is a republic commando callback and it is so huge so awesome really really excited about this i'm it's it's a really really uh, kind of niche detail, but I'm so glad they included it because it adds so much more depth and displayability to this figure. And a lot of people were wondering if the chest panel pops off because in this photo it does not show that. But judging by the kind of seam line from the back of the photo here, there's a gap which makes me think that the chest panel will pop off as well. As soon as I get this figure in hand in about a week, I will let you guys know in my review. I'll cover it. So stay tuned for that. But this is really, really exciting. And I'm going to have to pick up probably an extra one of these sets now just to have a battle damage version to put next to my Republic Commando figures. And speaking of the Out of the Basement Discord, we have another photo from there showing off the brand new Ahsoka Clone 2-pack. This set is starting to show up in Target stores, so if you are looking for it, check your Target store. The street date is March 31st, and so you're not going to be able to buy it in store until then, but uh, feel free to go check it out, and uh, it'll you'll at least know if your store will have it in stock on uh, April 1st, which I believe is the official release date for this set, and... 
this photo is from Talia in the Out of the Basement Discord, so shout out to you for pointing this out and sending your photos because it is super awesome. Next up uh, on Amazon, the Black Series Padme figure, which is a fan channel exclusive, has a f official pre-order release date of the 23rd of March, which was actually yesterday. Uh, now, unfortunately, if you didn't pre-order this before that date, uh, you won't be getting it early. It's not in stock anymore. It is back up for pre-order, and uh, it's like a release date of May now. So um, if you did get it and you're going to be getting it in the next few days from Amazon, congrats. But if not, uh, you may have to put in a pre-order on a different fan channel site or on Amazon, whatever works for you guys. But unfortunately, it probably won't be here on that like March 23rd release date. Right now, there is some kind of drama going about the Moff Gideon helmet and specifically the price for this thing. Um, originally, Amazon put it up for $99.99, $100, uh, and it was very popular. A bunch of people pre-ordered it, uh, and then they changed the price to $131, which is originally supposed to be the retail price for this thing, I believe. Uh, most of the last few Black Series helmets have been this $130 uh, price range, and so it makes sense that $99 is very low for Black Series helmet nowadays and so um this was weird and it kind of makes sense that they fixed the price but if you go to hasbro pulse they have it up for 99 dollars. so i don't know if this was an error on hasbro pulse's end or if this was an error on amazon's end or what happened here but uh there are several different like prices for this thing and if you got it for 99 dollars, congrats but i i have a feeling that it is going to be readily available for that 130 price in the future Anyway, next up, this is a photo from Yak Face and the brand new Black Series Mace Windu and 187th Clone 2-pack part of the Clones of the Republic line has officially started shipping out from Hasbro Pulse. Unfortunately, I never even got a pre-order in for this thing. It was always sold out. Uh, but if you did pre-order it, check your mailbox because you might have already got it in. I know a ton of people already have. So um, congrats to everybody who did get their pre-orders in for this thing. It should be in stock on uh, Hasbro Pulse here in the future once they actually get their like in-stock wave in. And it should be available in Disney stores as well and, and should be on Shop Disney too. So that's pretty interesting. So this one will be readily available, I think, in the near future. So don't worry if you didn't get a pre-order on it. But uh, yeah, it's looking great. Here's another photo from the Out of the Basement Discord of somebody who actually has it in hand. And I gotta say, they look great out of the box. That Mace Windu looks incredible with his clone gauntlets. And unfortunately, the 187th Battalion Trooper is um, the like older clone mold, but uh, he still looks great, and I love that purple color. So I, I think this is a pretty cool set, and I can't wait to see more Clones of the Republic sets in the future. Next up, a post from Yak Face, actually a rumor report, uh, but the previously rumored uh, Count Dooku, like, re-release or reissue has officially been debunked. Unfortunately, there was some kind of error with the naming system, but it does look like that that is going to be the previously pipelined Darth Sidious, so excited to see that one uh, get a little bit more information on it, and... Uh, he, Yak Face did confirm that it would be packed with the single release of the Super Battle Droid, and so because of that, I think that means we're going to be seeing this figure rather soon uh, get announced, so really excited about that, and the Imperial March program is going on, there will be one more Imperial March Thursday here, pretty soon next week, and and so because of this, I could definitely see uh, Palpatine getting a Imperial March Thursday reveal. Uh, I mean, he's the Emperor. It makes perfect sense. And, and so, yeah, I'm really excited to see some more information on the Sidious and see him finally get revealed. Some more interesting information posted by Yakface. Again, I already mentioned this, but make sure to go check out Yakface. Link in the description. Uh, but... Weirdly enough, the mural artwork for Jedi Master Soul in the Acolyte line uh, has been edited, has been changed. So the original photos uh, released with the, the, the promo shots show uh, somebody's arm or leg or something in the side of uh, the art. And this has been changed. She's been completely removed. And uh, the, whatever figures there that's being teased uh, should be number one in the Acolyte line. Uh, has been taken off of the mural artwork, so we don't know what the official final box is going to look like. I'm assuming the official box will have that on it, just because uh, you know the, the, they want the mural artwork to be to, to be accurate and to line up. But uh, it's weird that they decided to remove this from the box art. I'm guessing this has something to do with Lucasfilm not wanting to spoil characters, but um, it's weird, and I'm, I'm not sure what's up with that.
if you're interested in getting some of these Acolyte figures, it looks like uh, Jedi Knight Yard Fandar, I believe is his name, is actually up on Amazon for pre-order for $19.97. So pretty dang good price. This is like OG Black Series prices. So if you do want to pre-order this figure, check out Amazon because he's on a pretty good discount right now. And before some of the comments start saying he's like pre-peg warming, that's not the case. Uh, Walmart had an air with their system where they put up some of their figures for pre-order for $19.99 or $19.97 or whatever it is. And so Amazon's like auto price match tracking system uh, auto changed the price to $19. And so no, it's not already being clearanced out. It's just a pre-order and it just has something to do with Amazon's system like auto putting it on clearance to match competitors. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of Luke Ness News. If you guys did enjoy it, the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.